Oh, what's up peeps? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a cool story out there. There are a lot of creators who make some pretty cool projects and I'm really glad that I have a channel where I can share them all with you. Today we're talking about one of the biggest projects I've ever covered that was man-made and 3D printed, so I hope you enjoy it. And it's from this mother fricker right here, Super Louis 64 Please go show him some love because he does a ton of creator projects, some crazy ones, and a lot of them are controller based. What I mean by that is he actually designs a lot of different things, items, whatever you want to call them that can be controllers in a game he has done this with I, I can't even tell you how many things books bananas and now real life swords all right as i shared a clip from him the other day it is from final fantasy 7 remake the very own buster sword and i'm going to show you this and you're going to be like how why is it how is uh yes today i've been building a fully functional buster sword and my fully functional i mean you can actually play final fantasy 7 remake with it i pretty much made a cosplay ready buster sword and turned it into a PlayStation controller with built-in motion controls. I still have some work to do on this controller, but man, Cloud makes this look really easy. Long story short, you can swing your sword to attack and game and even guard with the right motion. And if you're a pro gamer, you can even do some of Cloud's special abilities. You see how big this mother fricker is? Not just Louie, but the sword. By the way, the sword weighs almost 10 pounds. So it's like you're swinging around, you know, a lengthy freaking thing. We'll get the details later. But how crazy is that? Yes. So he literally made this sword into a controller that you can use in the game game and the sword the item he made is also in the game he is playing it's a really unique twist and i love that's what he does this a lot but he also sent me some additional stuff and some actual descriptions about what the sword does can you imagine how long it would take to swing for heavy or basic attacks like <laughs> it might be better off with the controller Like, I'm pretty sure he's showing not only how hard it is to do this in any kind of room unless you got high ceilings and wide walls, but also the workout. You can see him just literally heaving the whole time. If he did a full fight with anyone or anything, I think that's what we need to see next. And of course, I had to reach out, get some details for all of you guys as well from him directly saying, as for the sword, I pretty much 3D printed the sword out and then hooked up the Arduinos, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, to the hilt so I can play games with it. It has two joysticks and an acce accelerometer, that's not it, and an accelerometer slash gyroscope to detect the motion controls. Long story short, I pretty much built a custom Wiimote, but a giant one at that, and it also is around five feet long and weighs eight-ish pounds, but the weight distribution made it very heavy, so I imagine it's very much much top heavy I would, and that's why he's so tired all the time so the man made a five foot sword that weighs around 10 pounds that acts as a controller in a video game i'll just i'll probably just stick to mouse and keyboard but what a freaking project till next time take care of yourselves okay go show some love and some support till next time yeah 326 p.m